In this episode, you're gonna get a summary of the book starting with why. It's a phenomenal book, it's an inspirational book on why having that greater vision, greater goal, having, having a greater why and making sure that everything that you do is aligned with it will lead to greater success both professionally and personally. Let me show you what the book is all about and then let's talk about how can you implement it in your life. Let's do it. Samuel Pierpont Langley wasn't just a regular man with an ordinary dream. He wanted to be the first man to build a working airplane. And it might sound crazy to you now, but in the early 1900s he seemed like the perfect man to do it. He was a senior officer at the most prominent research center. He had been a mathematics professor at Harvard and secured more than $50,000 from the War Department. He was a resourceful man with a clear goal. To be as famous as Thomas Edison and his plan to achieve this level of fame was to be the first man to build a working airplane. And just a few hundred miles away from him, two brothers, Will and Orville Wright, had the same dream but zero resources. They had no funding, no government influence and no one in their team even had a college education. They had one thing worth a lot more than any of that. Inspiration. They were scientists at heart and were determined to make it work. They knew if they succeeded it would change the world. This why inspired them and inspired their team throughout the entire journey. That why made them the first man to achieve manual flight in December of 17, 1903. Not Langley. Once the Wright brothers succeeded, Langley quickly quit his flight dreams. And nowadays, everybody knows the brothers, but no one knows about Langley. Had he been inspired by a different why, maybe history would have been different. So what is the why and why start with it? To put it simply, why is what motivates you to get out of bed in the morning. It is your central core belief that drives you forward. And most of the leaders we admire started their journey with a very strong why. Once inspired, they mobilize other people by giving them the sense of purpose and belonging to a community. In fact, all businesses need to motivate customers and employers to do something, whether that's buying a product or just performing a job. And there's generally two ways to achieve it. One is called manipulation and the other one is inspiration. Manipulation are outside influences such as price, promotion, fear, aspiration or peer pressure. And while these might work and produce short term gains, they don't create long term loyalty. On the other hand, inspiration makes a person act from internal will, not from the outside influence. People inspired by the company's why will buy more, recommend your service to family and friends and forgive you if you ever make a mistake, which of course you're bound to make some at some point. All right, that's all great, but how do you start with a why? Let me introduce you to the golden circle. The golden circle is a visual depiction of an organization structure and it looks like this. It looks like a bullseye target with three rings, the why, the how, and the what. The core idea is that whenever you make a decision, you always start in the center with the why, then you move on to the how, and finally you move on to the what. Let's take Apple for example. Their why is we think differently. How? We do this by making products that are easy to use, elegant and well designed. The what? We just happen to make computers as our products. Apple's products are a result of their profound why. The iPhone for instance is a physical representation of the company's core beliefs. And if you're connected to their core belief, you buy an iPhone, you buy a Mac, you buy an iPad and so on. And that happens because people don't just buy what you do, they buy why you do it. And of course, suppose you're watching this and you're thinking, I prefer a PC over a MacBook. In that case, that's fine. Because it's not about which one is better. It is about making sure the people who align with your why are using your product. So why does the golden circle work? It works because it's rooted in human biology. Humans want to belong. The need is so powerful that we often put incredible effort and money into achieving that feeling. And when the belief of a company aligns with your own, it creates a sense of belonging and kinship. Buying their product makes us feel like we belong in the same group as other people who buy the same things or believe the same ideals. The sense of belonging is a powerful driver that can even overcome minor differences in quality. Just think of all the people that are bound by following the same sports team or following the same performer or wearing the same type of clothes or the same type of brand. It all stems from the same need to belong to a bigger group. 
And the golden circle is a powerful tool, but it only works if all three elements, the why, the how, and the what are in balance and used in the right order. So let's dig deeper into all these three elements. Element one is of course the why. When you start with a why, you choose inspiration over manipulation as a tool to motivate other people. And to inspire others, your why needs to be absolutely clear to yourself first. If someone wakes you up in the middle of the night and asks you about your why, can you describe it in one sentence? Or do you need a cup of coffee, a cold shower, and then 50 minutes of thinking to figure it out? Clarity in the why. Element two, discipline in how. How you work will be crucial for your success and of your why. For instance, this could be hiring the right people to work alongside you or finding a partner who shares the same values and principles. To achieve your goals, you need to work hard on your how and discipline in this case is critical. Element number three, consistency in the what. If why is a belief and how is the action, what is the product? It's what you produce and everything you say and do, including your marketing and your hiring practices. To maintain the public's belief in your why, your what needs to be consistent with how you live your why. Suppose you say your company's why is to question the status quo, like Apple for example, but you put out me too products indistinguishable from the rest of the market, you sound inauthentic. Ensuring authenticity is essential and will lead to long-term results. Now that we know what the golden circle is and why it works, let's dig a little bit deeper. Strong and charismatic leadership that starts with why is crucial. But most whys need a practical how to help translate their vision and passion. Many people are the whys and many other people are the hows. Whys live in the future, while the how lives in the present. Why are the dreamers and hows are the practical? They both are capable enough to run a very successful business without the other one, but to achieve a world-changing movement, both need to exist. It requires humility to admit your weakness and to find the other half of the equation. But if you do, magic happens. Just as it happened with Steve Jobs, the why, and Steve Wozniak, the how. Or Walt Disney, the why, and Roy Disney, the how. You combine the why and the how, magic is bound to happen. Understanding the elements of the golden circle is absolutely crucial to the long-term success of the company. But this is very big picture item. How do you make short and medium-term decisions based on their why? Let's talk about what the author calls the salary test. And here's how the salary test works. Imagine that you're starting a new health food store. You're wise to sell foods that improve people's well-being. So you go to a dinner party where people give you advice about your new store. Of course, like any other dinner party. Someone approaches you and tells you that you will need more M&Ms. And another person says, adding salary instead. And both of these people are successful and give you good advice. So it's tempting to go right up to the supermarket and buy exactly what they recommend. But that will, of course, result in purchasing an armful of mismatched products. The better tactic is to go into the store knowing your why. If you're wise to make sure people have access to healthy food, then the answer is obvious. You don't need M&Ms. You need to buy the celery. So in essence, the celery test acts as a filter to whittle down all the possible options into a few that support your why. And of course, you may be thinking that the celery seemed the obvious answer to when you first heard the scenario. And that is the magic of the test. It makes decision making easy. Because if your why is clear, you know exactly what decisions align and which ones don't. So remember, the why is the belief, the how is the action, and the what is the product. So go out there, find your why, and inspire others around you, and let yourself be inspired by them as well. When the Wright brothers built the first airplane, Samuel Langley could have been inspired and optimized the machine, but instead, he gave up. And in the author's words, they are leaders and they are the ones who did. Leaders hold the position of power, but those who did inspire us. And if we follow those who lead, not because we have to, but because we want to. And we do it not for them, but for ourselves. And those who start with the why have the ability to inspire not only themselves, but the rest of the world. And I know this is very big picture items, so let's jump into how can you put this in practice for yourself and your business. Hey, welcome back. So that was Start With Why. As you can see, it's a phenomenal book. But, you know, talking about Disney and Apple and all these big picture items might seem a little disconnected from, you know, everyday life. So how can people like you and me implement all this great information into our lives? Well, the easiest way that I figured out and the way I've done it for myself is to 
get all your projects, you know, from your personal life, from you know, organizing your closet to your professional life, creating a new product and put it on a piece of paper, each project, and then across, write down the why. Why are you doing it? And you only you know your why. So I want to plug this in. There's no bad why. There's no good why. You don't need to be, you know, changing the world. Organizing your clothes, it can be creating more space. It can be, you know, you want to get rid of some of the old clothes so you can buy new ones. Maybe you want to sell the old clothes so you can make money. There's no bad why. There's no, you're not saving the world with your projects. On the professional side, you know, you want to create a product. Is it to make more money, to catch up to the competition because this is your passion. Whatever it is, write down a single why are you doing it. And then as things come your way, as decisions need to be made, you just you just need to think, is this getting me closer to that goal or further away? Because as you know, we have limited resources. We have limited time, limited finances. And as things go your way, you need to make decisions. Do you go this way or this way? So using that why, using that salary test essentially is going to make it much easier. It sounds deceivingly simple and it is, but it makes your decision making that much easier because sometimes you get caught up in the daily life. You know, you do something and you make decisions and then when you go back and like, why on earth did I do this? This is putting me so far behind. So if you get into the habit of running every decision through getting me closer to that goal or further away, it's going to make it that much easier. But for that to happen, you need to first figure out the why. Very simple, very effective. And I suggest you try it out. And if you're more videos such as this one, reviewing some of the best books in self-help and productivity and finance, click on the button below, subscribe, join the family. There is a new video coming out each and every day. Until then, go figure out your wise for each project. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.